with frontline basically people that are that are at the cutting edge career partners which means they're missionaries who minister the gospel in the 45 plus limited access creative access and closed countries across the globe we do that through face-to-face -face doctrinal bible teaching for many of them they come out because they never get to go to a church and they come out to a neutral place for an in-depth concentrated bible conference and for medical training and then for personal ministry coaching. We also do scriptural marriage and family counseling, personal accountability focused discipleship of these dearly, highly committed servants of the Lord that live in such dark and hostile areas. And this fella from one of the Central African countries, and he sat down at the table, he took his hat off, he looked at me, and tears just started running down his face. And I said, how can I help you? And he said, just just being here. He said, I work in a 99% Muslim country. He said, I'm burned out. I came to this conference seeking hope. They're living within sight of ISIS and ISIS's atrocities. He said, I know what they'll do to my wife. And he said, I'm sure I know that they'll auction my three daughters off. He says, many times I'll go into surgery. And he said, I feel the darkness coming down on me. He said, it's my own fear and my own weakness. And he said, but the Lord called me here. And he reached into his back pocket and pulled out a little moleskin. And he said, I collect verses that are preached on. And he said, you're in my book. He said, this morning when you were talking about spiritual warfare, it, it hit me what you were saying, that that's something I need to do. And the next time I'm back in my hospital and the blackness comes over me, I pull my little book out of my pocket and I sit there and read it. And he said, every time the darkness lifts and the Lord reassures me, he's called me, and that I'm invulnerable till he's through with me, and so is my wife, and so are my daughters, and that he wants us to share the love of Christ in this place. Mobilizing is the other half, is reaching the next generation partners through training centers, and we travel to them across three continents, and basically we love to equip the next generation. The next generation is bold and fearless. They go out on the streets, they do street meetings, they preach right now. More than one third of all who enroll in these Bible institutes go into full-time career evangelism, missions, and the Lord's work. They are very focused. Uh, they love getting their diplomas and serving the Lord. Shinto Buddhist from Japan that was saved through English lessons and his grandmother is paying for him to go to seminary because she said the young people of Japan are committing suicide so fast if that Christianity is giving you hope I'll pay for as much hope as you want and he said I'm gonna spend the rest of my life spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ across to my people Joseph, as I taught, had three Bibles. He had his Korean Bible, he had his English Bible, and he had his study Bible, and he said, I am prepping to reach my people, and I want to know, and all they did was ask questions that wore us out. Paul was a U.S. Marine, just got back from his tour of duty, and got all of his money from the government, and he's in the Bible Institute, and he said, I've been in the Middle East, and I've seen so much atrocity, I'm giving the rest of my life to serve the Lord there. Uh, John Kim wrote me probably the sweetest note I've ever gotten. In fact, I carry it in my Bible. He said, God changed my life. God used you. Thank you much. I mean, I thought, praise God, that's it. Our calling is to reach the next generation so that they can reach their world. <laughs>